so the cell that we're developing here at uh, GKN Aerospace is um, a modular approach. So we have a robot in the center um, at working to to serve the, the different process modules that we have surrounding it. So in total there are 10 different slots where we can have uh, process modules. So what we really want to achieve within the PERFORM project is uh, to have the cell work as flexible as possible. Um, so we want to be able to change the process modules, we want to be able to move them around and reconfigure the cell. So one of the modules that we're developing in, uh, in this cell is a uh, brushing, um, brushing process, uh, which is actually uh, pre-processing before welding, so removing uh, a lot of the oxides that can form uh, on the surface. Um, so the process uh, works by the robot picking up um, a tool, inserting it uh, into the spindle engine. Um, it later picks up a component and the robot and the spindle are working together to, uh, to remove all the oxides. So we brush the component on the outside and also on the inside uh, and the component and stem uh, put back into, uh, into its slot. My name is Per Voxenius. I work as a program manager uh, at JKN Aerospace within research and development. Uh, we don't invent for fun, of course, it is fun to invent, but the main purpose is really to make money in the end of the day. And when it comes to perform projects, there are really three things that makes it a good business case. One thing is, we have, as of now, two different cells. One is for oxide removal, and another one is for surface measurement. Those two alone can save us more than half a million dollars a year. Uh, that is the first way to save money or make money. The second one is, that we have uh, within aerospace you need to have redundancy, you have, have to sort of have two of each. But having a flexible automation cell, we can reduce the number of systems because we can move manufacturing if one system breaks down. The third way to, the way this is profitable for us is that some of the equipment areas are very expensive. And the way to make them more efficient is to improve the logistics and having other types of services or processes close to the expensive systems. So in these three ways we can, we can save quite a lot of money. Reducing the cost of making a part by automation, having a less redundancy of parts and also uh, shorten the logistics loop. And in the day, in the, end of the day, the main purpose is to make money, even if it is fun as well.